911, this line's recorded. Where is your emergency? What's the difference between 911, the TV show? 911, what's your emergency? And 911 here in real life. So the standard greeting when they answer a 911 call is 911, this line's being recorded. Where is your emergency? Hi, um, calling in uh, for Pacific Street in Boston. There's a major fire. The 911 show may be a little bit sensationalized. <laughs> But there's absolutely some truth to it. What's been like the craziest day you can remember? Ugh. I mean, every day is different. They could go from zero to 60 in a matter of seconds. Dispatching engine two. You just never know what you're going to be handling at, at any given moment. You know, especially if they call 911 and you can hear people in the background or something going on in the background. And you're like, ah, that's something not right. Dispatchers explained they have ways to make sure you're safe, even when you can't talk. So then you can ask the questions of be like, all right, I'm just going to ask you yes or no questions or nothing that you have to give out any information of who you're talking to. We did receive one of those calls for somebody ordering a pizza and it ended up being a, a domestic disturbance. If there's any question, we send everybody. I'm sure every telecommunicator in this room right now has stories about uh, certain calls that they've taken or how, they, how they've affected them or how they continue to affect them to this day. It can get very heavy. It can get very heavy. This dispatcher shared with me the stressful nature of the job. Somebody very wise had told me once that it's like wearing a backpack when you first start this job. And every call you get adds a rock to that backpack. And you need to figure out how to take some of those rocks out. You know, this isn't your typical Monday through Friday, nine to five job. And what they do matters. And, you know, there's, there's purpose. There's purpose in this profession. All right, we'll get them right out there. At what point are you guys the busiest? Thursday afternoons at one o'clock. That's when we receive our most 911 calls. And it's not even during rush hour. <laughs> so I don't know why. We wanted to see what it looks like when a 911 call comes in. So I'm here with Bridget. She's going to take my call. I'm going to dial 911. <laughs> 911, what's the location of your emergency? So that's what happened when I called 911. Now let's see what happens when I send a text message. Okay. Within seconds, she texted me back asking for my location and emergency. If you look at this number here, it's within 95, six meters, so 95% accuracy. Even if someone accidentally calls or text, they still send an officer just in case. A lot of times people get mad. If, we, if they call 911, they get mad at us, and we're like, well, it's just protocol, like not a big deal, we gotta send somebody. These men and women, they care about the job, they're dedicated, they're professional. Holbrook PD Anderson. They're here because they wanna be here, they're here because they wanna help people. The tough job made better when these dispatchers realized their impact. Yes, it can be very rewarding, very rewarding. In Holbrook, Wale Aliou, Boston 25 News.